I was honestly surprised at the housewife that y'all chose on our last video because y'all said she had bad taste and I mean I don't associate her with bad taste so I was a little bit shocked but then I went back and really looked at her house and I get it now I get it now today we're talking about Candy Burris from the Real Housewives of Atlanta my roots are in Atlanta but my branches are worldwide I, I you said like that. I said what I said. Okay, well what okay. you said was some bullshit. Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? You. I see you. We good. Okay. We good. I see you. We see each other. We see each other. Bitch, I'm worldwide and I'm <laughs> all <of you. laughs> Okay, so Candy bought not one, but two mansions, two estates, if you will. One for her and her family to live in, and then the other is like a guest house. That's the type of money I'm trying to be on, okay? Now, if I were to sum it up, I would say the theme of her house overall would be gold and bright ass colors. Hey, it's me in the future while I'm editing. There was something that I couldn't articulate, like I did, I couldn't find the words while I was recording and I think I figured it out, okay? I kind of feel like Candy may be stuck in the 90s. For the rest of the tour, look at it through the eyes of you are in the mid to late 90s, maybe even the early 2000s. This decor would have ate back then, okay? It would have been cutting edge back then. But today, it's just, it's not it. It's like she has one foot in today and then another foot stuck in like the 90s. I don't know. See what you think. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. Hello, everybody. My name is Candy Burris Tucker and you are in my house. We love a good foyer. We love a good grand entrance, okay? Now, if you go to the left, you'll be in Candy's music room. There's a red piano there. And she said that she had the piano wrapped in this red crocodile thing. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's nice. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's not a crime. But then the camera turns to the two chairs that she has in there. And that is where a crime was perpetrated. She said she got them from like Craigslist, like she got them for a bargain. I absolutely love that, actually. I, I love a good bougie on a budget queen as one myself. But then she said that they, they had it painted and reupholstered. And they so they decided to make it red. It didn't come like that. They ch they chose this. They paid for it to look like that. And then I was like, OK, well, the, the color is a little bright, but it is what it is. And then we go to the back of the chairs. Why does it seem like the back of the chair has like a kitchen? Girls who get it get it okay now if we go back over to the other side of the entryway we see her formal dining room i don't like it but i don't know why you know what i'm saying and also the chairs are horrible <laughs> the uh, the chairs are that's just it's just not cute it's not my style those chairs are a choice that's for sure um and she said that she drove all the way to north carolina to get this dining room table because she wanted a big round table which those are hard to come by so i respect that again a bougie on a budget queen we love it but we don't love this color scheme in here it's a little odd it's a little odd moving on to the living room now this is the place that when i hear candy burris's name or i think about candy burris in her home this is the room that i think of i always thought this room was cute you know from the vantage point that i could see right the huge custom couch with the fuchsia pillows i, I thought that was really cute so she decided to have the mantle of the fireplace uh painted gold Okay, and then we go to like the kitchen and the regular dining room. You have these pops of red just like slapping you. It's like they punch you directly in the face. They're not subtle at all, okay? And I think that's where we went wrong. Um, so then we get to take a look at Candy's master and it's, I like the black walls. That the gray chairs with the gold accents just don't seem to complement everything else in the room. But the bathroom is nice the bathroom is beautiful they chose to do a black glitter wall um, as the backdrop to the tub which again is a choice i'm not against a glitter wall i just don't know that i would have put it in the bathroom but i mean it's not bad i mean and the rest of the bathroom is absolutely beautiful from what i could see the only thing i would say is i think that the floors are a little bit too busy in the bathroom for me personally but yeah that, that is candy burris's one of two mansions and you know i have definitely seen worse so there's that let me know in the comments whose house you want me to do next it could be good bad the ugly whatever you let me know